quantum computing is going to destroy the blockchain space. It's just a matter of time. The last ones standing will be those that have started already preparing to combat quantum computing. Now, I found a very nice article on OKX about how NervosCKB achieves quantum resistance in the age of quantum computing. And we're going to take a quick peek at about four or five blockchains that in today's age are actively preparing to fight off quantum computing because this is going to be a huge problem in the future. Leading this charge is Nervos Network, whose foundational layer, CKB, is designed not only with flexibility in mind. I want you guys to keep flexibility in the back of your head, but with built-in support for quantum-resistant crypto cryptography. And this is very, very important that whatever chain it is you're looking at for their quantum-resistant properties is that flexibility is going to be paramount. Why? Well... You can't have a bunch of updates and voting and a bunch of hair pulling between DAO members and things like that on the way forward to fight quantum resistance uh, computers. Uh, with major tech companies such as Google, Microsoft, NVIDIA making rapid advances in quantum computing, Google's Willow processor reportedly hit over 100 qubits. The time window to prepare is closing fast. And guys, time does fly, especially in technology. Technology is one of the most rapidly advancing industries out there, I think. Every single day, we've got better phones. We've got better computers. We've got faster everything, right? And one thing that I like about Nervos Network is that rather relying solely on hard forks, and this is where things get tricky, guys. You look at Ethereum Foundation, for example. Imagine when they try to do a hard fork to prevent quantum computing threats. They are going to fight like cats and dogs on the right way forward. What's so unique about Nervos Network is that the blockchain itself kind of leaves it up to the developer if they want to import quantum resistant uh, cryptography into their code and things like that. This is already available on Nervos Network. So rather than relying solely on hard forks to adopt new cryptographic methods, CKB uses flexible scripting system built on its cell model. In CKB, all assets, including tokens, smart contracts, and user logic, are stored in cells, which are programmable and modular. This means it's very, very flexible. Um, and so this is going to allow developers on the fly to update code to not rely on these crypto foundations to hard fork and able to allow these developers to protect their on-chain assets things like that. This is super beneficial, especially when we're talking about wallets. Guys, it's going to happen. Satoshi's wallet is the grand prize. Whoever can create a quantum computer to get that wallet open will definitely reap all the rewards. And like I said, the top five cryptos by 99 Bitcoins that can survive quantum computing. I thought that this is going to be a very interesting spread of projects, to say the least. And I was quite surprised to see um, Nervos Network and Internet Computer listed as the top five. The future when quantum computing becomes capable enough to threaten the existence of blockchains, including Bitcoin and Ethereum, is not a matter of if, but when. They're estimating five to ten years out at this point in time and really experts you know they're saying are likely within a decade um, but this does give crypto projects a time to prepare so if you're looking at crypto projects and they're not really doing anything right now to prepare for these quantum computing algos that will one day possibly destroy a lot of these chains uh, it's a sinking ship it just is what it is 
Um, some projects are designed to be flexible and customizable enough to implement post-quantum solutions as and when required. And this is where Nervos Network's flexibility really comes into play. Um, and they go on to say that why most cryptos won't survive uh, quantum computing. And it's just their algorithms, just uh, the, their cryptography is just not built to withstand it. And it's going to look like an entirely different chain once they go ahead and try to rebuild it or position it so that it can be quantum resistant. There's like a lot of chains out there that'll just simply get wiped off the map. Now, I think that you should look at all of these projects that I'm about to mention and not just focus on every single one. I think that it's good to learn about many projects and if you're interested in them support them um, but cryptos that can't be hacked by quantum computers you know there's several projects actively working towards a post-quantum future because once this gets here guys it's like flipping a switch it's it's going to be like that and all hell is going to break loose some have chosen to implement tried and tested quantum proof encryption algorithms, while others are focusing on creating flexible and customizable infrastructure that can integrate new quantum resistant solutions as they're developed. And I think that having this infrastructure that allows developers to integrate updates and things like that on the fly, like I said, we're not, we don't have time in a post quantum world to be waiting for some foundation to take six months to fork their chain. By then, it's, it's going to be, the entire chain is going to be looted. Um, that's what I love about Nervous Network is that um, their infrastructure allows developers to implement uh, quantum resistant solutions on the fly. Uh, they go on to list quantum resistant ledger. I'm not familiar with this, but I'm going to take a look at it. Nervous Network, number two, which, hey, I've been following Nervous Network since. February of 2021, and I'm still here. Um, so with that said, what makes Nervos Network quantum resistant is that Nervos uses RISC-V architecture for its virtual machine. Now, Ethereum Foundation uses EVM. And recently, within like the last year, Vitalik Buterin has gone on record several times saying that, hey, maybe we should pivot Ethereum away from EVM to RISC-V. And this is just because RISC-V is simple and efficient. So the company says, Nervos Network says, that key features of RISC-V architecture is its modularity, which allows a high degree of customization and enables developers to use any programming language or cryptographic primitive when building smart contracts on CKB. So, guys, this is like one of those things where it's very important to know, like, blockchain that you're uh, supporting, like, you know, can it, are they even doing anything for quantum resistance? Uh, cell frame. I have not heard of this project, but I'm going to check it out because it's my duty uh, to protect myself from uh, crazy madness that's coming. Algorand, big, big blockchain. A lot of people like this project. I don't know much about it, but maybe I'm going to look into this one as well. Uh, and five, internet computer, as you all know, if you've seen my channel, um, you know, I've worked for Definity. I've been involved with their grants projects. This is an incredible blockchain to say the least. So I was quite pleased when I saw two of my favorite projects make this list. And it tells me one thing, that maybe I'm doing something right in looking at these chains uh, from a unique point of view. But this is going to be an interesting next five to 10 years. And I really guys, I want you to check this video out at the end that I did on Nervos Network in how we can have quantum safe wallets. So this is going to be a good video that you're going to want to watch if you haven't watched it already. I'd highly recommend you following Nervos Network on X at Nervos Network. And guys, if you're interested in Nervos Network or you have questions, follow at Nervos Nation on X and 
check out their Telegram because a lot of the people from the foundation at Nervos Network are floating in and out of Nervos Nation and can answer questions and things like that on the tra- on the fly. And if you want to track your crypto tokens, check out my application called Token Tracker. Find that at tokentracker.net. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick, short, sweet video on what makes Nervos Network so special when it comes to this quantum threat that we're facing here in the future.